Let's go through the best way to farm clay, including getting all of her materials. You'll need to get her built, things like this uh, cooling metallic foil and the thermal metallic foil. Having Sharon available is going to be a huge advantage here. And all of Glaze parts, or should I say ultimate Glaze parts, are 6% drops. So for me, I think the best thing to do here is to farm these in sets of 20. Go through the set of 20 until you get the part. If you don't get it, get another set of 20. Or aim to max out stabilizers and then burn through them once you have max stabilizers. And rinse and repeat until you get the parts as you are moving forward. Starting with the cells then, we're going to be heading over to the fortress. Putting ourselves into private and then to the main fast travel point in the defense line. As you see, directly to the south, we're going to be heading to the outpost right here, and then waiting for the cooldown to go away. And we're aiming to farm Amorphous 122, but we want to get the increased chance to get the stabilizer, so we're going to be going through this in stealth mode. I'll do one of these in stealth, just in case you guys don't quite know how this works, and that way you guys will know everything that's happening. The reason we put this into private is because if another player walks by and then aggroes the enemies, it's going to prevent us from interacting with the panels in here, and that is an issue. Cooldown's gone, so now all we need to do is go on around and and begin interacting with all of the panels here. I have a lot of duration on my Sharon and try to get duration on your reactor as well. We don't really need any skill damage or anything like this. Duration is the main issue. Slash one of the enemies so you can reset your stealth and gather up all of the enemies. Just kind of flashing and appearing like this is going to allow us to gather all the enemies up and make things a little bit easier. And then defeat the boss to get a chance at getting the amorphous that we need. And then you can do what you want. I got <laughs> that was pretty nice and lucky, wasn't it? If you mark this in the map, you can see that we now actually are able to see the cooldown. So we can wait around, do whatever we want, and we're going to be gathering those ones right there. For the catalyst, we're going to be heading over to the desert and we want to go to the Mirage Stone one. So we want to head on over to this western kind of segment here and then make our way on over. Again, once the cooldown's over, we can head on in, start interacting with the panels. Get a slash on, back to invisible. Gather those enemies up nice and neat. So they can defeat these guys in exactly the same way. How easy is that? Uh, so from here, we are looking for 92. I'm sorry I was wrong. It's actually going to drop the stabilizer, not the catalyst. The catalyst is in fact going to come from the outpost that we can find in the hatchery. As you can see, all of the reactors are actually in the same zones as the, as the outpost in this case, which is kind of handy. Again, let's go through stealth here. So the cooldown is gone. We're going invisible. This is another four bad boy, so be careful. Slash, invisible, gather up, especially as this is one of those funky uh, green flamethrower guys. These are my least favorite. And from this outpost, we are looking for a Murphus 102. The code is probably the easiest part to get. So if you come on over to your infiltration operations terminal in Albion, come on over to the hard mode, as you might expect. And it's actually going to drop from Slumber Valley by using Amorphous 58. Again, you're going to want to get 20, at least 20 of these. You may as well max out the stabilizers just to give yourself a good chance. All of these are going to be a bit annoying to get, I'm afraid. So this could take you a little bit of a while if you're unlucky. Which brings us to farming out Ultimate Glaze rarer materials. These easy ones always just come from boxes. So I'm not going to demonstrate these and how to suck eggs. The easiest one for me to show is obviously the Thermal Metallic Foil. I'm going to show you guys exactly where I get that from now. You're going to want to come over to the Echo Swamp. Go into public because there's always people around here farming this anyway because it's just a very, very good spot in general. And you're going to want to come to the Abandoned Zone and we're going to run the Abandoned refin Refinery Unit. And you'll find that there are tons of the Elite Units here, which are the orange name enemies. And they they have a decent chance of dropping it each time you face one. They also have a chance of dropping breakers as well. So I really, really enjoy recommend this mission. I'm just going to give it a quick run right now. We're just going to kind of go over there. There's almost always people here. So as you can see, yeah, we've got a group here already. Go ahead, run this a load of times. That's going to get you your thermal metallic foil so that you can get your glay parts building. 
Cool. So just, I've just had a couple of runs of those just for just for good practice. Uh, but this place is just a very good spot to farm in general. People have asked why I have so many breakers, and it's because this is basically where I do all of my grinding. Whenever I need to level something, I come here because it drops Kaipo gold and gives decent XP. So there's absolutely no reason not to use this all of the time. So for this material, the best place I like to go, this uh, appears in the encrypted vaults in the Gulch. And I like to come to the mountaintops and down to the very southern tip right here. I'm in private right now because usually there's people kind of messing around up this way. But if you come down here and scan, often, yeah, you'll find there's a ping. I've got one right now, which is great. Sometimes it can be over this way. Sometimes it can be the right. Sometimes down, directly behind. Sometimes you just have to find it a little bit. So use your ears to get a good direction on it. Sounds like it's just up there. Because they can move around. So... It's difficult for me to give you a specific spot. I don't know if this is a new thing, because they used to always be in the same spot, but now they seem to be a little bit more kind of random. So just just, just listen out for them. This is a good spot to come to. I just realized I didn't bring my Enzo. So you can get your cooling metallic foil. If you have Enzo, I didn't use mine there. It's not really important to the video. But if you have Enzo, you'll see his passive skill. He gives extra rewards and makes hacking into them easier. So this is what you should always do when using those. And lastly, for the common carbon activator... We're going to go normal mode. We're going to head over to the shelter. I recommend doing this in private. We shouldn't really be wrecking the game for newer players. And then once we reach this open area, just clear through the enemies. The mission is to just eliminate all the enemies at this point. Interact with the panel when instructed to do so. And then we should have the Elite Storm Warrior drop us the common carbon activator that we need. At this point, we can just exit the mission and continue farming until we have everything that we want. That concludes the Ultimate Glay farming video, and I'll catch you all in the next video.